Ross Finds of the Week, episode number 59. It's Christmas time, so a lot of toys. Probably the only episode you'll see toys and foam posits. And the same thing. So, uh, starting off with Funko Pops Evolve, $5.99. There's some other ones out there besides this Goliath that you could probably pick up to resell. This one's still selling for about $15 uh, to 18 bucks. so totally up to you. A little iffy. Blah. Where was this when I was young? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mega Blocks Technodrome. Check out this bad boy, $79.99. Comparable value, $250. This thing is huge. This thing is heavy. You've probably seen it there in the toy section. And uh, some people are trying to sell it right now for about $125 on eBay with free shipping. This thing is so heavy. Shipping alone is probably going to be like $50 to $60. Bucks. Uh, you're probably not going to find it to resell. I would definitely keep it. Give it to the kids. Maybe even keep it for yourself. Staying with Ninja Turtles, huge colossal 48 inch Leonardo figure. <laughs> this thing sticks out big time at Ross because you pass by and it's just standing there looking at you. $46.99, comparable value to $100. Do not buy this to resell, it is too big. Uh, some people actually, one person selling it on eBay for 60 bucks, pickup only. I swear we're done with toys after this. DC Comics Multiverse. Wonder Woman figure and $10.99 comparable value to $26 actually selling a little bit better on Amazon FBA than it would on eBay still trending right now for about 21 to 23 bucks. I don't know what happened here Air Jordan 1 high strap French blue these things are used look at the condition the bottoms are all dirty the back is all dirty the heel everything no price either it's like someone just dropped them off left them there at Ross and then I don't know what happened after that so I don't even know what to grade this I just give it two thumbs down check out these cool socks men's stance NBA legends cartoons um, $3.99 comparable value to $5.99 you might see uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Larry Bird Iverson and for some weird reason Harden is in there which he's not really a legend but the beard and hair is all uh, kind of furry and stuff cool finds some of them are worth reselling some of them aren't you can decide which ones those are Nike tennis spring court long sleeve uh, it's kind of like a shirt kind of a little bit thicker though a uh, great quality usually on this stuff I kind of pass until uh, you see the price on it $21.99 uh, too cheap to let go so I picked it up I think it's good to resell also good for the collection on to the kids section Air Max 90. I don't really don't know what this colorway actually is, but Ross price 31.53. Yes, we love those prices. Totally random. Comparable value to $60. Uh, some of them on eBay not really selling that great, but I think it's a pretty cool shoe for the collection. Staying with the kids section at Nike Roshi One Flight uh, Mesh. So orange and blue colorway 32.99. And some of them on eBay right now only going for about a $45 to $49 range. Minimal money to be made there. Um, pretty cool light shoe for the collection though. And finally, our Ross find of the week. Lil Foam Posits in the copper colorway. And what did I tell you? Foams and toys in this episode. We're going to break this shoe down. It has already sold. Actually sold it for $140. It is our Ross Find of the Week. Let's break it down. Nike Foam Posit or Lil Foam Posits. Uh, copper colorway. The price $34.99. Comparable value to $110. Size 7Y. Beautiful looking shoe. I'm a big fan of foam posits, but not really this colorway. And Ross. I mean, getting foam posits is nothing new. You guys remember these? Uh, I think I got this sometime early last year, I think. Uh, let me see if I can just show you. So that one was $24.99. This one was actually irregular. So it was actually on sale. Um, you know, a better price, but holding these for my unborn child. Anyway, go back here to the foam posits. Show you guys the back. Of course, we got the penny. We got the one cent logo on the back. And a lot of people on Instagram have already found this shoe. I'm actually kind of late to the game. At least that's what it kind of feels like. 
I only found one pair, a size 7Y, and uh, some people have found four, five, just multiple pairs. If you're looking on eBay right now, what is this shoe selling for? Some going for 130, some 140, some 150, some as high as 160. I would not go lower than 120, 130 range. I mean, there would be no reason to lowball this at $90 or a hundred dollars or less. I know this colorway didn't really sell well, I think when it first came out, but that's also a good thing for the Ross finds because they always get stuff later on. And when people can't find things, that's usually when they want them. So hold on to them, try to sell them for a, a pretty good price, get the profit that you deserve on them. And let me know if you have found this shoe in your area or not this is also part of uh, our out hustled a uh, little challenge that we have going on so um i'll let you guys know when they sell so thanks guys for watching this video we'll see you guys next week ross finds of the week go out and get it